What does prayer look like? It's a dialogue. Okay, it's a dialogue with who? With you and Jesus, who is God. What does the dialogue consist of? Well, there's this great line from the 5th century, this guy named St. Isidore. He said this, When we pray, we talk to God. When we read, God talks to us. So what are we reading? Reading the Bible. Reading the sacred scriptures. Both parts of the dialogue matter. Our hearts speaking to God, disclosing the things of our inner life, our inner secrets and dreams and desires and pains, whatever it might be. Speaking as to a friend, but also listening. Reading the word of God and seeing that it's actually alive. I'll never forget the first time I picked up the Bible. Again, I'm 17 years old. It was after this experience of meeting Christ in the Eucharist, and it was alive. It was astonishing. It was vital, it was beautiful, and it was speaking into my experience. It was the beginning of a love story and an adventure that I've been able to live ever since because God is real. And the Bible is not some historical old text that has nothing to do with your life. It's a living word that has everything to do with your life. One of the best words that I would say that comes out of the Bible about what prayer is, is the word abiding. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. This line revolutionized my life. Because what I realized in it was that God is not an idea. God is a relationship of love. We call it a trinity. One God, three persons. And wouldn't it make sense that if God is like a family, if he is a relationship of love, then maybe I should learn about that if I'm going to model my family life after that. And it's not just about learning about it, but it's about living within it. And that's why that abiding is such a key word. Because to abide in the love of God is to experience the love of Jesus.